My name is Michael Maturo. Uh, I'm a chemist by training and work on ExxonMobil. My name is Tim Schaefer. Um, I hold the title of Distinguished Research Associate and my specialty is in polymer chemistry. Energy efficiency, that's a really important goal for us. We really sought to develop technology that would help with operability and efficiency of butyl rubber manufacturing. This is a technology that was developed in the 1940s. Butyl rubber is a very important polymer product. Uh, it's used in a wide variety of applications in the world. Tires are probably the most uh, connective thing that the customer can actually relate to. Um, and it's the air retention properties of butyl that make it so important. ExxonMobil is a, a world's leading supplier of this uh, material. It's used in more than two-thirds of the tires that are out here. In fact, tires in the parking lot probably have it. In this particular patent, we were looking to try to improve the operational efficiency of the process, um, as well as the energy efficiency. There are some well-held beliefs in the manufacturing process, and we began looking at challenging those beliefs by trying to understand the physical behavior of the polymer in the process, at process conditions. We learned, as we examined the process, that the rubber particles were stickier than we originally believed. And this uh, reduced the efficiency of the process by slowing heat transfer. We reasoned uh, that by changing the solvent properties in the reactor in just the right way, that we could make the rubber particles harder and that we could still promote the ionic chemistry needed for the polymerization reaction. Butyl technology has been studied in various forms for about 70 years. And throughout those 70 years, there have been a lot of um, new technologies that have helped move things forward. Uh, this is the first technology in all that time to move the operating temperature 20 degrees. That's a significant change in terms of energy efficiency and a significant change over the past 70 years.